Hello, everybody. This is not going to be a Bible study, but more of a warning. Uh, let's see. The um, Take a look into 5G, what they're putting up for all the in small cell towers all over the place. Uh, they've been having birds. I, now I was reading in the news that they were having birds, hundreds of birds dropping dead it, from the sky. And I didn't realize it at the time, but I figured it was some kind of an energy weapon. But um, an electrical engineer, I was watching one of his videos. It turns out the Vive 5G, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5G, uh, Golf, works on in the microwave range. So they're going to be transmitting frequencies at the microwave range. And those of you that have a microwave oven, yeah, think about that. So, you know, miners, uh, people that used to mine coal and what have you, used to take a canary. You've heard of the miner's canary or a canary in a coal mine? They took the canary in the mine and the canaries would uh, die from, uh, if there was a poison gas in the mine, uh, if the canary died, well, you better get out of the mine because they were more susceptible to the poisonous gases than the miners were. There's a lot of uh, people don't realize it, but, you know, you could hit a gas pocket of, you know, natural gas or uh, something that's called hydrogen sulfide. Uh, a lot of people, that's what a lot of people call swamp gas. Stuff's heavier than air, so it would go sink down into the mine. Smells like rotten eggs, and uh, if you get a whiff of that, it'll uh, your nose will quit smelling it because it it uh, quickly destroys your sense of smell. So you smell it for a few seconds, and then it's gone, and you think, "Oh, okay, it, it's gone," but no, it's not. And then you uh, you pass out, and then you die. Stuff is really nasty. Uh, hydrogen sulfide gas turns, in, when it gets exposed to water, turns into sulfuric acid. And uh, guess what your body is composed of? 93% of water. So, you know, it turns into sulfuric acid in your lungs. But this uh, 5G stuff is, uh, it, it's basically microwaves. And I didn't put two and two together when the uh, birds started dropping dead in the sky, but they're, they're testing the system. Now, if you look at the Georgia Guidestones, they want to uh, depopulate the world like 95%. And with all this AI, uh, so-called autonomous cars and what have you, I mean, they're not, you know, once they get robots doing all the jobs, I mean, how many people do you really need? I mean, you got, you know, car, uh, computers driving the trucks, computers driving the air, flying the airplanes, uh, how many how many employees do you really need? I mean, think about it. So you know maybe this 5G is uh, maybe what they're planning on getting rid of a bunch of us. You know, the Bible does talk about um, well when you read in the book of Revelation, if I remember correctly, and you can look it up on your own. There's a plague that kills a quarter of the po world's population, a quarter of the population, and then there's an, uh, something else that kills like a third. I mean, you know, if you're talking nine billion people on the earth, and it kills a third, you're talking three billion people, and then kill another out of the six uh, billion, kill another quarter, you're talking another billion and a half you're only left with, you know, four and a half billion people. I mean, uh, I don't know if that's the fulfillment of Bible prophecy. I don't know. But if you take a look at the uh, Georgia Guidestones, they, they do. when They, they want to get the population down to, I forget the exact number, but it's, it's less than a billion. I think it's a quarter or a half. I'm not sure. But uh, they're real secretive about who put up the uh, Georgia Guidestones. So, you know, it's just something to think about.
Plus, the um, from what I understand, there are people that are saying that the blue screens on our computers and phones uh, cause eye eye problems and slowly cause blindness. I don't know how true it is, but it wouldn't surprise me. You know, so here it is. They want to inject us with all the vaccines and they want to um, prevent us from knowing about our GMO foods. You know, I, I wish I had some good things to uh, bring to the table, so to speak. But, uh, you know, the Bible says that the country that forgets all... Um, well, let me look it up. Oh, okay. Psalms 917. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. And trust me, the United States has forgotten God. So, oh, and you know, in movies and stuff, they've been mocking, they are mocking us. Um, for example, there was a created man-made famine in Ukraine, which was the breadbasket of Europe in the early 1920s when the uh, communists took over. If you don't know it, uh, communism is very uh, co-sure uh, with the, tri the tribe. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, they're using speech recognition now to uh, do certain keywords and when those keywords pop up uh, that they don't like I'm sure they relegate your our videos to the back burner they you know very few people will hear them and I got another love note from YouTube today they uh, censored one of my other videos uh, you ever see the um, the zombies on TV well, like Z Nation, well, put the first letter Z, and then uh, if you're talking about Ionness, you know, with the Z on the beginning, and of you know the tribe, well, it was that's what the video was discussing, and it got deleted. Well, not deleted, but um, it's uh, most features are disabled and. Uh, it's not going to pop up anymore, hardly at all. So that's what they're doing for this. Uh, and people actually can't figure out who's who's in charge. Yeah. Oh, it's the Vatican. That's why there's news stories every week about a, a priest molesting uh, young boys. Yeah, because the Vatican's in charge of everything. Right. Yeah, the banks are... Uh, owned by the Vatican with names like uh, Gold, Man, Sax. And we're not talking about a saxophone. But, uh, all right. Well, I just thought I would uh, do, some, do some studies into the uh, 5G. And seriously, it's in the microwave range uh, of frequencies. So I guess they're going to cook us alive. Oh, and the smart meters, um, people have been reporting uh, fire depart departments are uh, been reporting a lot that these 5G, I'm um, sorry, these smart meters are catching fire. And I wonder if they can do that intentionally. You know, I, you know, I don't know. It, it makes you wonder. Oh, and these Boeing planes, that uh, the two Boeing planes that crashed. No, you got to realize something. Um, I think Boeing's got a airplane factory in China. Airbus, which is one of uh, Europe's uh, airplane consortium, I guess you could say. Uh, they're one of Boeing's competitors. They've got a factory in China. And you got to realize something. All, all almost all these electronic components are made in China, and these planes are capable of flying by themselves. And I wonder, did uh, 
can somebody hack into these planes? There's been allegations by people that uh, the pilots have lost, con you know, uh, lost con complete control of the planes. They, they did what they wanted to do by themselves or they were hacked. You know, um, I'm not sure. There was a allegations that that flight 370 over in Asia that disappeared. There was a bunch of people that held patents, uh, a group of scientists that held some patents that when they died, all the patents were being held by one of the rich bankers. Uh, you could look it up, but I mean, come on, people. You know, in World War II, the British and the Americans, we had a radar that could pick up a periscope in the water, a periscope. Now, a periscope's not much bigger than a baseball bat, maybe a long baseball bat, but I mean, come on. You know, you could pick up a, a, a periscope and you can't pick up a Boeing 737 in the air with radar. Uh, I mean, you're talking 1945 as opposed to what, 19... Uh, 2017 or whenever that happened. I mean, all those over 60s, 50, 60, 70 years later, you, you can't pick up a 737 and figure out where it went. I mean, something's fishy. So, you know, is China hacking our stuff? I don't know. But, and another interesting thing to look into also, uh, the United States Navy had two destroyers, maybe three, I'm not sure, that were hit by freighters. And um, there's some people saying that they were hit with uh, EMP, electromagnetic pulses. Because let's face it, people, you're talking a naval ship with all kinds of radar and stuff. And freighters are slow moving. I mean, they're not a fast ship. I mean, a Navy destroyer is probably twice as fast as a freighter, at least. And then they'll say, well, you know, the, the crew happened in the morning. They were falling asleep. You know, I don't know. I think it's really stupid to uh, give the uh, Chinese all your factories, all the technology, let them building all our computer chips, letting them build all our computers. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I took, I took business, I took computers, and I took electronics in college and in vocational school. But I mean, you're talking back, you know, in the 80s. And uh, I can only imagine what they have now. I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, that's why I didn't get into electronics because when I was in electronics, we had, um, oh, I don't know, maybe a dozen uh, electronic companies here, including RCA, Magna, uh, our, our Motorola. We had IBM. And then they all packed and went overseas. So, you know, I don't know. So, yeah, just some thoughts. So... But uh, yeah, if you if they put up 5G around your house, uh, might be prudent to. Um, well, let's just say it would be beneficial if it didn't work. That's all I'm gonna say. So, all right. Well, just some thoughts. Um, this is Chaplain Bob, Light of the World. Uh, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to Jesus. Amen.